You at the Zoo is an eTech Ohio project produced in partnership with CET, Think TV, and the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, with additional support provided by the Robert Gould Foundation. Hi, I'm Thane Maynard from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. And I'm Ebony from the U at the Zoo team. Did you know that all organisms, including humans, can cause changes in their ecosystem? That's right. And as the largest animals on land, elephants definitely have a big impact on their environment. Here to tell us more about our planet's most famous landscape architects is Rick Heidhouse, an elephant keeper here at the Cincinnati Zoo. The type of elephants we have here at the Cincinnati Zoo are Asian elephants. There are two kinds, African and Asian. The easiest way to tell the difference is the size of the ears. The African elephants have the great big ears. Asian elephants have smaller ears. The elephant's trunk is an amazing appendage. The elephant cannot live without it. It's actually comprised of over 100,000 individual muscles. She can literally pick up a dime off this ground or a log weighing as much as 500 pounds. They also drink with that trunk, but it's not a straw. She can suck up about two and a half to three gallons in there and then she sprays it in her mouth. This animal will get about 200 to 250 pounds of food here at the zoo every day. Now in the wild, an elephant this size will eat four, five, maybe even 600 pounds. They don't get quite the nutrition quality that they get here at the zoo. Landscape architects is a term for animals that have the capability to actually change their habitat or their environment. They're creatures of habit and they usually follow the same path and if you actually are in Africa or Asia, you can usually see these going through the bush. And because they eat so much every day, they can denude an area rather quickly. Then they move on, and the area they leave behind eventually will start to grow new plants. The lodges itself in places like Africa are built near watering holes and salt licks that elephants have actually constructed. When you protect elephants, you're protecting everything. Because if the habitat's big enough to sustain elephants, then you're going to have all the birds, the reptiles, the smaller mammals, the primates also. So with that, we can call it the end, literally. Can't we mine? Wow, so not only do elephants prune trees by feeding on their leaves and branches, they can actually tear trees down with their trunks and create clearings in the forest. How else do you think elephants use their trunks? Well, Thay, the U at the Zoo team is off to find out by investigating the test of the elephant's <laughs> trunk. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mara. Hi, I'm Noelle. Hi, I'm Katie, and today we're learning about how elephants use their trunks. <laughs> Good morning, young ladies, and welcome to the Cincinnati Zoo. I understand you're observing the elephants and how they use their trunks today. The elephant on the right is Shotzi. The one on the left is Mai Tai. These guys are best friends. They've been together for about 32 years now. Now, I think we heard Shotzi trumpet when we first brought her out. They communicate with that trunk. They can either make sounds with it or the position of the trunk. Do they use their trunk? to do anything besides eating, drinking, cleaning themselves. One of the uses is called dusting. Dusting means they throw dirt on their backs and sometimes the hay that they eat. They use it as sunscreen. Elephants can get sunburned. And they also do it on a hot day. And if you watch them eat, you see Shotzi's eating hay and so is mine, but they were also picking up peanuts earlier. When you put down all this produce, they eat their favorites first. And what they don't like, they eat last. And sometimes the pigeons get some of the food too. I can tell that they're eating a lot because on my tallies I saw them like eating about a hundred times. I've got it about 60 and they're still eating. Hey, they're communicating now. I like how they go. You notice how their trunk acts like a broom? Yes. I should ask one of them to come over to my house and do my kitchen chores. Today we saw elephants using their trunks for eating, dusting and communicating, and even chewing away ducks and pigeons that were in their way. Well, there you have it, folks. With their large size, hefty appetites, and indispensable trunks, elephants really do play a big role in their ecosystem. I'm Thane Maynard. And I'm Ebony. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you at the zoo. zoo.